Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's DLC, the Indigo Disc, allows you to do something unthinkable. Catch starters in the wild. For the first time, you can shiny hunt these rare Pokemon without using eggs and breeding. Joy. All with this new progress. Now, all 24 starter Pokemon from previous games can be caught in the Indigo Disc DLC. You won't be able to catch the starters in the wild right off the bat. You'll need to at least make it to the BB League Club room in the Indigo Disc story before you can. Once you do, Drayton will talk to you about using the computer to donate BP to other clubs. He'll force you to donate to the baseball club to learn some new throwing styles. But after this tutorial bit, you'll be free to donate to whatever clubs you want. This means that if you want all of them, you'll need to spend a total of 12,000 BP, so you best get earning those points. Unlock all the starter Pokémon by completing the Boost Biodiversity requests in the support board in the Indigo Disc DLC in Pokémon Scarlet and Violet SV. Discover all of the starter Pokémon locations and more details on how to get them in this video. Complete Boost Biodiversity Support Board Requests Completing the Boost Biodiversity Requests in the Support Board adds starter Pokemon in their corresponding biomes. Note that each request costs 3000 BP, so you need to farm a lot of points before you can complete it. Boost Coastal Biome Biodiversity Unlock Bulbasaur, Chikorita, Mudkip, Froki, Poplio, and Grookey. Boost Canyon Biome Biodiversity Unlock Squirtle, Chespin, Trico, Turtwig, Tepig, and Litten Boost Polar Biome Biodiversity Unlock Torchic, Chimchar, Piplup, Oshawott, Score Bunny, and Cyndaquil. Last is Boost Savannah. Biome Biodiversity Unlock Charmander, Totodile, Snivy, Fennekin, Rowlet, and Sobble. After completing the Boost Biodiversity request, the starter Pokémon should now appear at their corresponding biomes. There is a rare chance that all of the returning starter Pokémon can have mass outbreaks occur inside their respective habitats. This implies that you can easily hunt for your favorite starter's shiny form. There is a rare chance to find the starter Pokémon compared to other Pokémon so it is recommended to eat sandwiches to increase the chance of encountering these starter Pokémon. Do note that their evolutions cannot be encountered in the wild, so you must catch a starter first if you want to use their evolved for forms. If you're having a hard time finding the Pokémon in their respective areas, consider using a sandwich that boosts encounter rate by type. Pickle sandwich that used one pickle and one olive oil for fire encounters used cloth claw sandwich that used one cloth stick, one tomato, one lettuce, one salt, and one olive oil for grass encounters, and used zesty sandwich, need one jalapeno, one onion, one herb sausage, and one chili sauce boosts water encounters. With that, you know all of the Indigo Disc starter locations. Let's catch them all to complete the Pokedex. If you're having a hard time finding the Pokémon in their respective areas, consider using a sandwich that boosts encounter rate by type. Pickle sandwich that used one pickle and one olive oil for fire encounters. Used cloth claw sandwich that used one cloth stick, one tomato, one lettuce, one salt and one olive oil for grass encounters and used zesty sandwich need one jalapeno, one onion, one herb sausage, and one chili sauce boosts water encounters. With that, you know all of the Indigo Disc starter locations. Let's catch them all to complete the Pokedex. Core Bunny Location Scorbunny, much like Chimchar, is on the snowy mountaintops in the polar biome. Sable location. Sable is in and around the pools of muddy water in the savanna biome. Grookey location. Grookey is running around the southeast part of the coastal biome. Poplio location. Poplio is found along the waters in the coastal biome. 
Litten location. Litten is found all along the northern half of the canyon biome. Rollit location. Rollit is all around the savanna biome. You'll have a hard time not running into them. Froki location. Froki is around the waters in the northern parts of the coastal biome. Fennekin location. Fennekin is wandering around the eastern part of the savanna biome. Chespin location. Chespin is in the charged stone cavern that connects the polar and canyon biomes. Oshawat location. Oshawat is in the northern part of the polar biome. Tefig location. Tefig is in the southern parts of the canyon biome but can also be found along the edges. Nivy location. Snivy wanders around the northeastern part of the savanna biome. Piplup location. Piplup is roaming around the waters in the polar biome. Gimchar location. Chimchar is found on top of the snowy cliffs in the polar biome. Turtwig location. Turtwig can be found all over the place in the canyon biome. Murdkip location. Murdkip is in the torch-lit labyrinth in the coastal biome. Torchik location. Torchik is found in a specific cave, which you can find by going south from the polar plaza and up the mountain. You'll know you're in the right cave, because a teremetang will be inside. Trico location. Trico is wandering around the grassy mountaintops in the canyon biome. Totodial location. Totodial can be found in some of the swampy pools in the savanna biome. Sindaquil location. Sindaquil is found in a specific cave in the polar biome. You can find the specific entrance cave. You know you'll be in the right spot, since there'll be a Terra Duraludon inside. Chikorita location. Chikorita can be found around many different areas of the coastal biome. Squirtle location. Squirtle can be found in and out of the water in the southern area of the canyon biome. Charmanda location. Charmander is running around the southern and central part of the savanna biome. Bulbasaur location. You can find Bulbasaur roaming around the grassy parts of the mountain in the southern part of the coastal biome. 